on our Lamborghini project. So here it is. It's obviously not finished, but we wanted to give you a kind of inside look on some of the stuff that we've been doing. It's really coming out fantastic. We've got our mirror image turbos, a very special mirror image turbo that is a variable geometry, so it literally shuts itself, half of it itself off and turns it back on for instant spool. Water and air intercoolers built into the intake manifold, all sorts of beautiful aluminum fabrication. Um, our shotgun exhaust, so we're gonna walk you around and show, give you an update here. Alright, this is the 6 liter variable valve timing all wheel drive V12 twin turbo intercooled Nelson Lambo conversion. So, what we got here, we have we made a uh, water jet plate that we machined out, machined the intake manifold, put bungs in the manifold, then welded a water or two water to air intercoolers to that plate so it unbolts. Well, little plenum motor to this uh, factory throttle body. I actually like the factory throttle body because it's got a twin blade, so it's got a small and big blade, good for drivability. We're incorporating the factory cover back into the into the car. We've got some custom water lines for. We got twin radiators and one radiator here, one radiator there, and did some custom aluminum water lines to go back into the factory location, but in a nice symmetrical way. Uh, some other special things that we've got is our patented mirror image turbos. And this is one of the very first turbos that has our variable geometry turbo, where it actually shuts half the turbo off. And it's actually cast, you know, the, the, the blade is cast into the turbo itself. So there's a valve here that will switch on and switch off. Uh, based on boost pressure um, so we're setting we're getting ready to rig up a uh, actuator to that arm um, we went ahead and made a whole new transmission mount I don't know if you can see it very well here and that transmission mount incorporates turbocharger mounts which go into these stainless special double wall bellows um, and that those bellows will take up any type, any type of vibration. It's got twin 60 tile wastegates. And what we did that's really cool is we've got our exhaust, which we've X-piped. Again, we've got a wild 12 cylinder twin turbo going into dual three inch X-pipe. And we ran that, uh, no, no mufflers to these, basically a shotgun. So you got two three inch shotguns and below it, are the two two and three ace shotguns for the wastegates. So we're gonna have, you know, open exhaust for the wastegates and the exhaust coming out of this 12. It's gonna be bananas. It's a pretty, pretty trick. Water jet these exhaust, uh, you know, holders, I guess you could say. It keeps the pipes all in line and we mount the exhaust this way to the chassis. You know, got a cool little logo going on in there. Everything's totally, all stainless TIG purged. We went ahead and V-banded the turbocharger so that goes up to the factory air scoops and a cleaner uh, from there. So if the factory air scoop is actually a functional piece. So you get cold air for the turbo right there.
Went ahead to tra transition the turbos into the throttle bodies and mounted dual blow offs. One of them's missing right now, but you've got, got dual blow off valves happening. And you know, when we're, this is obviously still again in the infancy stages, but um, it's coming along pretty, pretty damn great. And uh, we'll end up making sheet metal panels for the side there and all basically making it super cleanly. Uh, on the headers, we did a six and a one header. I'll show you some pictures because this is actually tough to see, but it is just a beautiful header that goes into an incredible six into one collector. Let me see if I can get a view of that. So we ended up making a cage. We made a cage in the car, pulled the motor out, and then built the headers around this metal cage. Um, motor was in and out a few times. And talk about tight, doing you know six pipes into one on a 12 for a turbo setup, but uh, it, it came out beautiful. And this is gonna be one slick ride, all wheel drive. It's easily going to make a thousand horsepower, most likely a lot more, and you know, all packaged under the stock everything, so it'll look like a stock Lamborghini. And I, th I think the quality of it is something that you're going to be able to turn key and just gobble up, you name it. Uh, and it's cool because it's on this, you know, 01 Bull, which is. A special car made for Mr. Freedom. 